We understand that. We got you. We got you. Breaking news tonight. We're getting our first glimpse into what led troopers to arrest a woman now convicted of the murder of former Arkansas State Senator. A Pulaski County judge ordered Arkansas State Police to release a large portion of the file after a lawsuit filed by KRK and other media outlets earlier this year. KRK 4 is Mitch McCoy has been following this case since day one. He's in the studio tonight with a look at the file, what we're learning, and we're learning quite a bit. Mitch. Yeah, this is just the first batch of this massive case file where we've been told some 20,000 pages. So the wow. first glimpse really telling into what state troopers had when they were called to this city. It's been reported previously that the motive for murder centers around money. The portion of the case file we have now includes thousands of pages, and we continue to go through it tonight. We begin with the 911 call, though. But a warning, parts of this story may be difficult for some viewers. We've been trying to find her for the last few days, almost a week, and we've not heard from her. Linda Collins Smith's adult son is the person who first alerted authorities back in June of 2019. We came to do a wellness check at her house. I think I found a body. The home of the former state senator quickly turned into a crime scene after finding her stabbed to death. A report shows investigators found blood in the kitchen and Clorox. Investigators note the bottle had what appeared to be suspected smeared blood on the top of the nozzle. Shortly after the body was found, state police interviewed Colin Smith's friend and former campaign aide Rebecca O'Donnell, who claimed the two had been arguing over someone not returning text messages quick enough. When I left, she was mad at me. So. She was mad at you? Why was she mad at That's you? That's why I didn't think anything about her not talking to me this week, because she's done that before. Well, Becky, why would she be mad at you? Because <laughs> she didn't like us. I always told Linda like it was. The interview lasted more than an hour. Did Linda have enemies? I mean, I... She's a senator. I mean, surely she takes some people off. So. Oh, well, I'm sure she takes yeah. people off every day. She takes me off. Troopers were able to retrieve Colin Smith's home security footage, which captures a woman screaming and then this. O'Donnell putting a large knife in a purse. Detectives say she took Colin Smith's cameras but forgot to delete some of the video. Hours after the murder, this nighttime video outside Colin Smith's home captures someone hiding under a white sheet going back inside. Days later, and en route to the former state senator's visitation, O'Donnell is taken into custody. You're under the risk of the murder, Linda. You understand that? We got you. We got you. We got video of you. You didn't erase them all. We got you. She's pled guilty and is serving 50 years in prison. So just a few notes. Uh, Rebecca O'Donnell is serving that 50 years. Mm -hmm. She's part of the Arkansas Department of Corrections Interstate Compact Agreement, uh, which ADC partners with various states. So we actually don't even know her location. It's oh, not made so. public. Um, as I mentioned before, it comes down to money. It's been reported before. According to affidavits, O'Donnell forged the signature of Colin Smith numerous times while filling out various checks. She's also convicted in a murder for hire plot. This is while she was awaiting yeah. the yeah. trial up in Jackson County. Uh, she was in the Jackson County Jail. And according to those documents she uh, attempted to, to use inmates to uh, eventually kill the judge and the prosecutor even Collins mm -hmm. Smith's former husband mm -hmm. uh, to, to stage it to make it look like Collins Smith's former husband was behind this um, now we know uh, murder as I gotta say pulling the curtain back on some of this information really clears up a lot of some questions it that does. have been out there about this may have happened or this may have happened now we know clearly state yeah. police at everything in line. Yeah, and, and, and there was a lot of rumors circulating, yeah. as you had mentioned. Yeah. And But once you start looking at that video, which um, Rebecca O'Donnell claimed was doctored, there's nothing doctored, at least from what we could tell based mm -hmm. off of that video that we've seen. So. All right, Mitch. Great job. Thanks very Thanks. much.